This little octopus from Antarctica has a very dark secret hidden in its DNA. The methods being used here, it's the same stuff we do when we try to figure out when our species was interbreeding and hybridizing with other species like the Neanderthals, for example. This species of octopus can be found all around Antarctica, and they don't migrate very far. They live pretty close to where they were born, they have pretty big eggs, they don't have super long lifespans. So when we compare these different pockets of populations, we can see that the ones pretty closely related to each other are also living very closely together. However, the wrinkle comes when we talk about the fact that this part hasn't always been ice and these seas were once connected. When they did this DNA analysis, it revealed that for thousands of years, over 100,000 years ago, these populations were interbreeding, showing that that ice sheet had completely collapsed during that interglacial. It's a time where the temperatures aren't that much warmer than they are today. And if that were to happen again, this is showing models of 8 meters of sea level rise. So right in between that 5 and 10, you can see how much different this is going to be if that ice sheet completely collapses again. That upper limit, that 10 meters, if it were to happen, it is predicted that it would cause us to lose more than 5,000 square kilometers of coastal land, nearly $3 trillion of GDP, and more than a third of a billion of people will be exposed to direct or indirect impacts of that sea level rise. Now, it's not as simple as thinking that if the temperature hits the same exact temperature as it was back then, then the exact same things are going to happen. There is a lot of variation here, but still, seeing this in the DNA of the octopus, it's alarming and it's more evidence that there was a complete collapse more recently than we thought. 